All right, coming up now, Jonathan Gracie taking on Ethan Cronston. Jonathan, the Optos representative, 2020 Euro champ, world champ at blue, purple, and brown for Jonathan. Taking on the ADCC veteran, the two times trials champion, Ethan Crellenston. Okay, again, big size difference here. Um, Crellenston definitely giving up about 25 pounds in this match. He'll use it to take top position on that foot. He'll put Gracie on his back, trying to step that knee inside. Passing to his right side, here's Crellenston. Inverting is Gracie. He'll push them back to center here. And winner of this will go on to face Oliver Taza, teammate of Ethan Crellenston. Trying to cut that knee through. Gracie. Shin to shin, trying to elevate here, inverting, trying to gather that far leg of Crellenston. Pinching the knees, no real control for Gracie. Crownston will remain seated. Crownston will get into half guard here. Jonathan's keeping them, them hips back. Crownston scoots forward, forward. Reverse De La Hiva trying to go underneath. Good job of Gracie. Backing that leg out. Crownston will sit him down on the double ankle sweep. Goes to take top position. Jonathan's foot on the hip trying to keep Crownston away from him here. I can't tell if he's going to look for a toe hold on his backside. He's got, a, he's got a good grip with that left hand on the right foot of Crownston on this backside here. Crownston, again, well aware. Gets that foot free. Body lock here. Let's see if he's able to get past. Jonathan's able to push push Crellenston off. Crellenston remains on top. Gracie underhooks that bottom foot, sits him to the hip. Trying to attack the left leg. Crellenston from X guard here sits him to his hip. Crellenston momentarily was looking for the toe hold on the back end. Slips that leg off. Gracie remaining in control of the left leg of Crownston. Looking on the inside heel of his own here is Crownston. He ditches that, making sure he stays out of harm's way. Trying to control the right leg now of Crownston is Gracie. Crownston trying to push off with that left foot, gets free. Jonathan Gracie will go back to the feet. Cronston will remain seated. Scooting forward. Gracie keeping his hips back a little bit. Two on one control momentarily for Cronston. He'll push away. Back to the feet is Gracie. Cronston scoots forward from the guard. Reverse De Hiva again. Let's see if he can invert this time. Gracie addressing the control. You see him trying to peel the hand, hand off the angle, he, off the ankle here. Backs his hips away. Uses that left foot on top to peel the right leg free. Good defense there by Gracie. Otto's representative from the feet. Tri-star and Team Henzo Gracie Brown Belt Ethan Crowenston. On the bottom, right hand controlling the right ankle of Gracie as he tries to slice that knee through. See him trying to pull forward, trying to throw that leg by his Gracie. Crown's then able to square himself back off, go reverse the heave again, immediately starting to invert. Every time he tries to invert here, Gracie blocks that leg, steps his hips back. He's trying to keep him away from that far leg, his left leg. See Cronston trying to feed that leg to the inside. Inverts all the way through here for Cronston. And on a footlock momentarily was Gracie. Cronston will remain 
with the open guard from the bottom. Semi-final match here. Winner will take on Oliver Taz in the finals of this 170-pound Grand Prix. Gordon Ryan victorious in the Nogi. Oh, tight head and arm control here. Single butterfly for Gracie from that bottom position. Let's see if they scoot them back to center here while they're still... See Krellenston trying to pull his head and arm free without getting that arm trapped. Back up to the feet. You see him paying attention to that right arm as Krellenston wants to make sure that doesn't get straight, straightened out or got to watch out for the shoulder crush in that position too. Krellenston does a good job, forces Jonathan to a double under in a closed guard. They'll restart him in center. And Jay Regalbuto here. Third event for BJJ Fanatics here at the Fuji Gym. Wakefield, Massachusetts. Double unders closed guard for Jonathan Gracie. Ethan Krellenston, top position. Framing in front. He's going to try to posture up here and try to break this grip. Gracie's guard is open. Four minutes to work, Ethan Krellenston. Scooting forward, nice wide base here for Krellenston. Now he's starting to get that body weight up over top. Opens up the guard, back to the feet for Krellenston, immediately pushing forward. Now Gracie trying to invert underneath off the reverse de Lahiva. Krellenston staying tight. Krellenston able to snag the right foot of Gracie and on, on that inversion. Now you see him trying to use that to get some control. He'll let go of the grip. Try to fight for better control of the leg here. He'll take top position. Stalking Gracie from that top position is Krellenston. Trying to get that knee over top single butterfly in. From Gracie trying to elevate as he controls I believe I just heard three minutes left here to overtime. See him trying to fold that right leg over top to try to go shin to shin to try to get by the guard here. Gracie extends. Krellenston steps on that leg again, trying to sit through on that leg. Gracie trying to get that knee line free. You see him slowly pulling that left leg free and you see Krellenston See, also, like, notice that Krellenston is just not over anxiously going for the submission. Like, he recognizes that he doesn't have the control, so he doesn't go after a sloppy submission. No need to waste the energy. Very good fundamental jujitsu by both these guys. Jonathan Gracie from the standing position. Krellenston shin to shin here from the bottom. Gracie. Standing position. Let's see if he tries to cut that knee through. Controlling that leg, trying to stop the inversion is Gracie. Reverse daily heave here. Krellenston gets through. Good job of Gracie again, blocking that leg, stops the inversion from happening. Let's see Krellenston trying to get that leg a bit deeper. Let's see if he could stretch his hips out a bit more. See how he's stretching the hips out to get to the inversion. Very good job by Krellenston. And Jonathan's going to end up, ends up with the leg on the scramble. Krellenston takes top position, trying to drive that knee through, splitting this guard open. Tight to the hip now is Krellenston. Gracie able to push away. Keeping them knees tight to the chest here. He, his right hand is gripping Ethan's ankle. Krellenston's ankle, so that's what's kind of stopping Krellenston from continuing pushing forward. I believe Krellenston trying to, there you go, get head and arm control so he can get that leg through. With one minute left before we go to OT here in the semifinal round. Ethan Krellenston, Jonathan Gracie, rolls through almost to the back here for Krellenston, crab ride. Gracie able to get his hips back. Top position as he cuts that knee through. 
Again, it's Cronston, and you see that right hand. See that right hand of Gracie just goes underneath and getting a grip on that ankle, making sure that he can't continue pushing forward. Cronston, let's see if he tries to make another dive back. Nope, he's going to bring that arms inside, try to go double, uh, double under, maybe cut that right leg through. Yep, you see him bring that right leg inside. Again, Gracie just inverts his hips, gets his butt a bit closer to Cronston's chest, and that makes it very difficult for him to get that right knee back Bye. through. All right, we're going to go to OT. All right, let's see who picks first here. Can we choose? Go first or second? Cronston will get the choice. John says Gracie got the choice. He deferred to Cronston. Cronston's going to start on the back here in the first of what could be three rounds. He'll start left arm over as he always does. Right to the body triangle. Gracie immediately trying to bring the hands inside. Ethan got that left arm around the head fairly quickly here. Gracie using both hands, focusing on the arm coming across the neck. And doing a good job of keeping clear. Goes through. Now, Cronston will keep the body triangle and he'll hook. Oh, loses the triangle here. Both legs inside. Does get that left arm across. Gracie doing a good job of using both hands to elevate that elbow. And he does have the body triangle on the top side here, does Cronston. Head on the bottom makes everything more difficult to escape here. Jonathan staying very focused on that choking arm. Gets it over top of the head, gets some space between his back and Cronston's chest momentarily. Oh, Crowlinston got that right arm across quick. Right arm is across. This is tight here by Crowlinston. Body triangle. And he's got some time here. He's going to get the tap. Ethan Crowlinston. Ethan Crowlinston with a rear naked, rear naked choke finish here in OT. So 111 is the time. So Jonatas needs to finish him in under a minute and 11 seconds in order to keep going. If Ethan escapes or just rides out the minute and 11, he is going to move on to the finals and face his teammate, Oliver Taza. Again, Jonathan, Jonathan has been very successful in the overtime rounds. Crellinston trying to work his way through, staying in the triangle here. Oh, man, brought that right arm across violently. And you see Crellinston, both hands, trying to push that arm up. Trying to roll through, almost has his back through. Brings that arm through, and he's going to yeah, they're, they're, I guess they're calling that a head and arm on the other side. If Cronston can get his arm through, he'll be out. That left arm, he's almost got it through, staying tight here. Jonathan Gracie, and he gets it through, and that's going to be it. And we're going to have teammates in the finals here. Ethan Krellenston by submission in overtime is going to move on to face his teammate Oliver Taza for the 170-pound Grand Prix title.